Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 65th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on structures and we are going to begin where we left off in the last tutorial, right? So in the last tutorial we learned to define a structure and uh, we defined a structure called album and uh, it currently has four elements. The first one is called title and it's an array of characters and the next one is called artist. It's also an array of characters and then it has number of tracks as one element and year as another element and both these are integer elements, right? So now we're going to have a look at how we can declare variables that use this template and also how we can initialize all these elements using the member access operator and the variables and uh, how we can display the information that we store in these elements on screen, right? So inside the main function, I have another statement on line 12 that uses the struct keyword, but this one doesn't define the structure, but it creates variables that use this structure album as a template. Right, so you specify the struct keyword first and then the name of the structure, which in this case is album, and then you specify the variables that are going to use this structure album as a template. Right, so I'm going to declare two structure variables in this program, and the first one is called album one, and the next one is called album two. Right, and uh, each of these variables is going to have access to these four elements, but uh, both the variables are going to have separate copies of these elements, right? So if you give uh, title element some value for variable one, then uh, the value would not be the same for the title element for album two, right? And uh, on the next line, I don't have anything, but on line 14, I have uh, a string copy function statement. And what I'm gonna do over the next few lines is I'm going to give these uh, elements values for the album one variable, right? So uh, since title is a string, I'll have to give it a value using the strcpy method, right? So I've used this and uh, you see that I have specified the name of the variable first and uh, the name of the variable is album one and then I have uh, put in what is known as the member access operator and it is nothing but a dot, right? So you put in that period sign and then you specify the name of the element that you wish to initialize. And since I want to give the title element value, I have uh, specified the title element. And then after the comma symbol within double quotes, I have uh, typed in a string that I want to be copied to the title element for the first variable album one, right? And the string is dark side of the moon. It's a Pink Floyd record. And uh, on the next line, I have initialized the artist element for the album one variable and I've given it the value Pink Floyd. And uh, again, since Pink Floyd is a string, it has to be within double quotes. And then uh, on the next line, I have initialized the number of tracks element for the album one variable. And again, I've done that by specifying the variable name first, which is album one, and then the member access operator, which is the dot, and uh, then the name of the element, which is number of tracks and then the assignment operator and then the value which is nine right so dark side of the moon i believe has got nine tracks and that's if you consider speak to me and breathe as one track if you consider them as separate tracks then the album's got 10. it's one of my favorite records and uh, pink floyd is my favorite brand that's why i have uh, you know used uh, dark side of the moon and also wish you were here for the second album and uh, dark side of the moon was released in 1973 so that's the value that i've given to the year element for the first variable and uh, then I have followed the same procedure and I have initialized the four elements for the album two variable and I've done it in the same way. So the title variable, sorry, the title element for the album two variable gets the value wish you were here. And then the artist element for album two gets the value Pink Floyd. The number of tracks element gets the value five and then the year element gets the value 1975. And I've done that in the same way. So you have the album two variable name first and then the member access operator and then the element name, right? And uh, then I have a series of printf statements that I have used to display the information that is stored in these elements now for the two variables on screen. So the printf statement on line number 24 displays a message. It has uh, three asterisk symbols and then album one information and in capital letters and then three more asterisk symbols. And then on the next line, I have displayed the title for the first variable and uh, 
you know since uh, the title element is a string we'll have to use the percent s format specifier and again to get its value you have to first specify the name of the variable which is album one since we are displaying information for the first album and uh, then the member access operator which is the dot symbol and then the name of the element which is title and then you do the same thing for artist right but this time you have to replace title by artist because you want to display artist information and then on the next line you display number of tracks and then on the next line you display year in pretty much the same way but you have to use the person d format specifier for these two elements because these are integers and not strings right and then you follow the same procedure for the second variable album two and uh, i don't think there's anything complicated about this you just have to know that to access a particular element belonging to a variable you have to first specify the variable name and then the member access operator and then the name of the element right so I'll click on build and run and show you guys the output of this program and there you go you see in the output window album one information is displayed first you see the title the artist name and then the number of tracks in the year and then um, you see album two information title artist number of tracks in the year Right, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I see you guys in the next one in which we'll uh, discuss another feature of structures maybe. And uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'm going to see you soon.